Atul Gopal from Plugin India. We are here at the Geo Convention Center in Mumbai, BKC, and uh, very excited to bring to you Tata's first sub 10 lakh car, which is the Tiago. But the first real thing that Tata has done very well is to get the price down. Right, the introductory price is 8.5 lakhs plus insurance etc etc but definitely it's going to be uh, sub 10 lakhs at the entry level and of course at the top end you will have a price which will almost go up to 12 lakhs 11 and a half to 12 lakhs uh, with the kind of options which are available so i think this is the car that we've all been waiting for because i believe and i've been saying this with consistency is that india is a small car country and from an energy point of view, the nation needs small cars. So I hope this is the first in a family of small cars that's coming in. When I'm saying small, obviously I mean in terms of energy usage terms, right? So otherwise it's a standard Tiago. It's a reasonably good car. It's a tested model. Lakhs of these cars have been sold by Tata. So it's a kind of trusted design, right? The second interesting thing is that this is the first time that the Tatas are now coming up with a choice of battery options right from day one so you have a 19 kilowatt hour pack which is good for your typical intercity use of people who are using about 30 40 kilometers a day and you have a 24 kilowatt hour pack which is useful if you are doing a drive cycle which is about 50 60 kilometers plus right so the fact that the battery choices are given right so so again the EV industry is realizing that if in IC engine world you could give people engine choices, in the EV world you need to give them battery choices, right? And I think that company is doing that. They've of course uh, got different motors, but I think that's more of software thing. It's actually the same motor, right? But kind of derated. So you have a 45 kilowatt versus a 55 kilowatt, right? But I would say the most significant news is that yes, you have a battery option available. So depending on your usage, you can decide what pack levels you need to go in with. The last thing which I think I'm quite happy about and excited about to some extent is that the Tiago comes with a set of features that a Tigor, which is a more expensive car, does not have. So I have a Tigor which does not have cruise control. This one does. I have a Tigor which does not have rain wiping sensor or rain sensing uh, wipers. This one has. And the third point is that you got uh, region selection which my Tigor again does not have right so in a way I would say the Tiago is going to be a Tigor killer right because why would you buy a car which is more expensive right which does not have these features right unless of course the company does something significantly different with the Tigor which by the way they have promised like Nexon Prime right so that's something which has been slated for Tigor owners and I am very happy as a Tigor owner so three good reasons for buying the Tiago First is price, second is the fact that you have battery options, and the third is you got significantly good features, right? right? Is there a way to improve? Of course there is. And my first crib about this car, and, and I think that's an improvement area which can happen only when you build a grounds up EV, is the vehicle weight. It weighs 1130-40 kg, which is almost the same as a Tigor, maybe 100 kg short. Right, so I was expecting that a compact car would weigh lesser and you know, we need to understand that the weight of the car drives energy usage or watt hours per kilometer. So the practical watt hours per kilometer that you're going to get into the Tiago is almost the same that you would get in a Tiago. There's not much to choose from, right? So I would have been happier if this car was delivering somewhere between 80 to 90 watt hours per kilometer. My guess is it's going to be 90 to 100, which is what I would get in my Tiago also. Right, so the weight management is something that I would say that you know in an electric vehicle is important. Now having said that, there is a little bit of weight management that has been done. I don't know that's good or bad. There is no spare tire, right? There is no space for a spare tire, right? And in a way, I'm kind of neutral. There will be a lot of people who are going to be unhappy with this decision, right? Because when you're doing long distance, you would want the 
kind of comfort that a spare tire gets to you having said that there is a tire pressure management system there is a puncture kit etc that the vehicle is given for a city use i don't think it would matter but when you look at highway i think that could be a little bit of a disadvantage right so here my, my views on the tiago we will obviously get it for a test ride and then we'll kind of have a little bit more of inputs coming your way but in the meantime we've got a loyal set of Nexon users who are also here and, and most of them seem to be ready to invest in a Tiago. Let's kind of find out what their reactions are. This is Vivek Ji. He's one of the pioneers in the Nexon EV group in Delhi and uh, he's been using a Nexon for the last three years now and, and I'm kind of quite happy with it and, and he is going to add to his table with the Tiago for sure. That's what he's thinking. The money is ready, probably paid, right? So Vivek Ji, uh, what's your first reaction about this car? Awesome. I think they hit the ball out of the park. Uh, I, I expected under 10, but they've gone down to 8.5. And, and now, for me, it's a conundrum whether should I go for uh, the One lower 19 <laughs> kilowatt or the 24 kilowatt. So, I'm, I'm really confused, but definitely I have to buy the Tiago and I have to replace my second ICE car, which has been a secondary car at home. And uh, I, I totally want to get out of burning petrol or diesel okay so let's do a little bit of conversation about 19 versus 20 what's your yes. current thoughts on that so if i look at my need it's in the city correct maybe 15 20 kilometers per day on weekends maybe 100 kilometers this is one about my secondary car so i think 19 is really good enough i never anyway go out of the town on uh, ev I, I don't drive anyway i mean ev or ice i like to use trains and public transport so I'm always in favor of public transport. So for me, the 19 is really good. It serves my purpose. Yes, the frills are there in the top one. So that's the choice that I want to make. And it's not because of 24 kilowatt, but it's because of so many other features which are coming in the top one. I guess Vivek, the 19 kilowatt hour model will also be a bit lighter. For sure, for Correct. sure. So at least 40, 50 kg yes, weight yes, difference yes, can be expected. Yes, so yes. hopefully that's a little bit much better yeah, for the range. In yeah, some but sense, again, but, as I said, hmm. uh, I really don't worry about the range because I never have to drive per day the limit of this. Even in my next one, I don't do it. I do maybe less than 50% of the range per day. So I'm good with this. I think maybe I'll charge this in once in a week or maybe more than that. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. So we've got Samir Pongche with us. And, uh, you know, Samir has been again a Nexon owner. He's kind of been doing some amazing driving on his Nexon based out of Miraj. Miraj, yes. Right. So, uh, how is the outlook going to be for this car in Miraj? Yeah, I've been talking to various uh, probable EV owners. So, they are more concerned about the pricing uh, of it. Because uh, as of now, the lowest uh, costing EV is uh, Tigor, around 13 lakhs. 13 lakhs. But still, they feel that 13 lakhs is too much for a new concept of EV as of now. So, if uh, this is costing below 10 lakhs, it is going to set charts on fire. So how many cars will get sold in Miraj if I were to ask you thanks to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, because uh, yes, uh, mine was the first EV in Miraj Correct. and uh, many people are following me and I think this will sell in good numbers in all, all the places. Maybe 50, 60 at least? Yes, yes, Easy. yes, yes. Okay, yes. so that's good news for Tata Motors. Yes. We are looking yes. forward to Miraj and other small cities in sure. India joining the EV revolution thanks to the Tiago. Bus. Bus. But Correct. Come. I will wear my seat belt just to kind of right. So here we are on the first drive of the Tiago. Uh, so obviously my benchmark is going to be with the Tigor, which is a vehicle that I'm more used to because I own it. So this is the button for region, right? And uh, so this is one, Do this is region, region. So this is region off. Then when you press this button, region level one, region two, region three. Okay. And to go down, you go to the next button and region off. Mm. So let's go on to region level high. I, you can see the uh, display over here which is indicating what level of region you are at. Okay. Right. So mm. 
how different is it compared to tigor mm, i would say it's kind of the smaller wheel base makes some amount of difference to the maneuverability of the car feels a little bit lighter than the tigor for some reason and uh, otherwise from the inside it's almost the same you know you can't really make out too much difference a little bit of difference in the cluster and uh, that's about it types but otherwise i think uh, good car no i'm not really sure whether we can kind of do a okay let's kind of see region off and see what happens one more right no only one okay आप ऊपर लेके जाएंगे कि मैं ले जाऊँ लेके जाएंगे ना आप ऊपर राइट सो सो द इन साइड इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम एज ए टिगोर देर इज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ डिफरेंस दैट यू सी इन दी बोर्ड विच इज बेसिकली बिकॉज ऑफ रीजन ओके बाय द वे दिस इज द क्रूज कंट्रोल सो यू कैन कैंड ऑफ सी क्रूज ऑफ क्रूज ऑन देन यू कैन कैंड ऑफ आई थिंक हाउ आई यू सेट द स्पीड आई एम स्टिल नॉट वेरी श्योर ऑफ right but i think there is a there is a separate thing about drive and region which was not there on the nexon that's on the on the tigor yeah. that's there on that side uh but by and large uh, comfort factor for me because this is something that i've been used to right and uh, let's see how the car does on long distance but first impressions is little bit lighter than the tigor and um, easier to maneuver right and and i'm a small car fan so if i had not bought the tigor this is the car i would have bought Two, three, go. Okay, so I have with me Ashish, who is the unauthorized Tata Service Center for <laughs> India. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he is the guy who people, when they have problems at 3 a.m. in the morning, with their EVs, call up, and he answers, right? So, uh, Ashish, very quick question for you: uh, If you were to look at service challenges for right. this car. Ji. Correct. What would be your suggestion to Tata's as to what is it that they'll need to do right with the Tiago right from day one? Give it OTA updates. Okay. That is the one factor because uh, reliability is mainly the issue for a new person who is looking forward to, you know, towards his transition. The car getting EV. better with yes. time. Yes. So he is the most factor he would see is that. EV के अंदर मुझे ये चाहिए दिस इज वट आई एम लुकिंग एट द बेस्ट पार्ट सपोर्ट सर्विस एंड सपोर्ट लाइक आई ऑलवेज से एनी कंपनी कैन मेक ए चेंज इफ द सर्विस एंड मेंटेनेंस इज द बेस्ट द बेस्ट पार्ट वी नो अबाउट द टाटा मोटर्स राइट नाउ येस दे आर प्रॉब्लम इन एवरी कार ओके बट दे हैव द फीडबैक दे लिसन टू द फीडबैक एंड दे इम्प्लीमेंट द चेंजेस दैट इज वॉट वी लुकिंग लुक एट एंड Every person would look at the same as a sense of security. Right. So, what's your first reaction about the Tiago? Oh, it's an amazing car. I found it really amazing. It is. It is going to be a game changer in all the sense, and especially with the introductory price for the first ten thousand cars. And somebody looking at a number, number hits. It's a. It's a typical thing. Number hits. So, eight forty nine figure is going to you know hit the people. They might just have like you know two lakh bookings in a day. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible it is doable <laughs> look bookings yes okay what Correct. what if delivery they, times if they, if they charge it at 100 rupees yes but if they start charging 10000 20000 maybe not so much but you're right my my personal expectation is you should easily no, get 20000 i would plus. say i would say even if it is at 10000 20000 people will really book the car they will look at the delivery schedule and according to that they will make some choices because in india typically you know 90% of the railway tickets gets booked in tanthkal <laughs> so it it is not a planned thing it is never a planned thing more or less right? right there are things which happen simultaneously so i would say yes it's a very easy number to get close to that 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh bookings what's, what's the uh price after the first 10000 you have any idea i i didn't follow i that. would i would i would say you know like they uh, like they you know did it in the max or like they've been doing in the nexon so i think they will start with a 25 to 30000 rupees increase per variant and that is where they will go okay. because it is it so it will be still sub 9 lakhs according to you oh, it won't be sub 9 lakhs maybe but it would be a, a sub 10 lakh okay. sub 10 it will go. yeah okay. it will always remain like a sub 10 lakhs and i think that was the motto to bring in a port car in their portfolio which is below 10 and that is what they have done 
and okay. i think they have done a tremendous job by giving you know Correct. two battery sizes absolutely that was required that is something you know when a person can decide i have options even in a tiago i have two options i can i may go for a different engine size in a car same like ice they have started using the engine which is the engine which is the battery, battery. here mm -hmm. in the ev so they have done their bit and yes please don't wait for the subsidies or think that sub subsidies have finished this car basically whenever you run it in a year's time you will start feeling you have a subsidy every year <laughs> year on year Good monetary to kaam karta every minute India is subsidy yes. every minute every is subsidy, minute is yeah. subsidy. Okay, you. you are earning while driving <laughs> ashish thank, thank you. you very much look forward to your long distance drive ka cover on the nexon max done <laughs>